speaking of big boy, man, what was crazy to me this whole time I never knew it. I went on my Instagram, big boy following me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but following me from from like what I was doing on the page prior to now. Uh-huh. Before I turned it back into a personal page, he was following like he was following what I was doing, you know. Hmm. So, do you ever think you're gonna go back into that world? Uh, I'm I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something different. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm gonna do something different, and it may be a bit similar, but it won't be that same thing again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like before, I was running like this, like spirituality, motivational, and then like sometimes like conspiracy theory theory page Mm -hmm. and so i would just like group all these things together just posting memes posting videos just like whatever i could find is putting it out there and the way that my page was i was putting it out rapidly Mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying so let's say like at 9 a.m i might post three three pictures back to back to back like right then Mm -hmm. then at 12 same thing three six so i might get like 12 post off in a day Dang. and then that's when like before the reels and stuff like when hashtags were still a big thing um i was posting so much that i was taking over hashtags so if somebody if somebody was were to look at a certain hashtag because i and i know because i would click on it from different pages and you would just see it flooded with with my post so it's like if you're looking for that you're gonna come across my post which makes it like a more likely for you to follow my page mm-hmm. so you Cause know clearly that's what they were looking for yeah and it, and then doing that i got to like 20 i got to like 25k Jeez. and then i and then i stopped and then it went back down now to like 16 but i but i haven't posted like in two years mm. you know just posting on the story a little bit mm. yeah but I mean the world of technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I if I do it again, it'll be a bit different, but I mean I, I the only thing that showed me is that it's doable. Mm-hmm. It's doable. You definitely know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, and, and then somebody <laughs> just do it as in Nike would say. And then somebody who was posting like the same type of stuff as me. Um and and even who I, I didn't I wouldn't say I got into it with him, but he took a post of mine. And then took my caption too. Like the post is whatever, but he took the exact same caption that I took the time to come up with it right. Mm-hmm. And I was just ask, I was just like, "Hey man, like that's kind of like weird, you know?" That's plagiarizing. And then he and then he <laughs> gave me credit on it, right? But then he ended up just deleting it afterwards, because I guess he just didn't want like for it to be shown that he that I made the post that he had posted. Mm-hmm. So it was something like that, but. That same guy who was kind of like within striking distance of like my page in terms of like followers and stuff, now he's at like a hundred k, you know. So it's like if I would have kept doing it or doing something in that capacity, you would have been better than him. Well, not no, I'm not saying now. I'm saying I'm just saying like I would probably be up there because oh, okay. he wasn't that. I'm much, going straight for regular. No, he wasn't that much further than me. So I'm saying like uh, the page probably could have been at like eighty, mm-hmm. you know, k or something like that. So, wow, but wow. we'll, we'll, you know, it'll, it'll come back around hmm. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but away, away from the Instagram page. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know how this came up. Oh, idea. oh, from the, uh, big boy song we uh, started with. Okay. To know. Yeah. Okay, but, uh, okay. but, uh, but for sure. Um, how, how was your week? This week was crazy. We, I went to your football game. Uh-huh. And, and what happened? It was bittersweet. You know, the seventh grade didn't do, you know, didn't do so great. We was, you know, waiting on next week. Yeah. The eighth grade killed it. Yeah. The eighth grade definitely killed it. They won that game. Um, I had to do a lot of stuff at work. Um, And then on a Thursday night, do I, do, do you want me to add this? Go, go for it. Thursday night, we ended up going to a concert. Yep. The person we've been putting y'all on. What's Since we started our playlist, yeah. Who who who, who was the concert? What what's up? Like, what's side boogie? Yes. What's sir. side boogie, man? What's up? Boogie came to Dallas. It was crazy because like <clears throat> like hadn't listened to Westside Boogie for years since college. Uh, yeah. And then well, no, not since college. 
I listened to his last project when it came out, but mm-hmm. then I stopped. And then I was uh, with my with my uh, best friend, mm-hmm. and I was just playing his videos. And then I came back here and was like, man, I ain't and been he, listening to him for a minute. And he played them for me, and I was like, I like him. Yeah, so, I so, like him. So then and then you, you I really it. got into him. Mm-hmm. And it was just went from there. Like, we both been listening to him hard. And then daily, and then, and then you sent it to your to your best friend. Yep, she then, well she listened to the podcast. Shout out to mm-hmm. Monica again. Y'all heard this name before. Uh, she listened to a podcast heavily, and then all of a sudden she hit me up last Saturday. She was like, "Did y'all know the West Side Boogie is actually coming to Ooh. Dallas?" Yeah, and we was like, "No, we did not." And the tickets were relatively reasonable because we paid for it that same day. Same day we got some tickets, yeah. And us four, it was her, us two, her and her boyfriend, and we had a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We might we might put a a, a short video out of the concert or yeah. something like that, but but we'll see, we'll see. We have a man. It's been busy. It's been busy. Like even the episode for uh not I mean today. But this episode is coming about out next week. Mm-hmm. So it'll be like the episode from last Saturday. Mm-hmm. You know, like that even came out late because it's, it's been so much. It's been a crazy week. Didn't have the energy Friday. Oh, no. We was tapped out by Man. Friday. Man. We, we were asleep early. Because we went to the concert Thursday night. Yeah. That was a long night. That was a long day because you still, we both still had work and you still have practice. The concert was at 7 o'clock. Yeah. So it was just like I got off a little early. I had to go run some errands for us to pregame for the concert, and then he get he gets off around like five thirty. He had to come in, take a shower. We ate. We tried to calm down and slow it down just a little bit. But by the time we made it to the concert, we was out there until like well, almost eleven or twelve o'clock at night. Yeah. And then so by that time we was energized again, and so. We, you know, we did what we did. We went to go get something to eat. We chilled out at the house. We finally went to sleep. We had to get back up Friday morning to go to work. It started yeah. all over again. Yeah, it was up from like 6 a.m. to uh, 12, 12 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. We, we so. did not edit no type of video Friday night. For like, sure. It, it, it uploaded, <laughs> but that's all that happened. <laughs> yeah. But, but what's crazy... Uh, we were at the we were at the Boogie concert, and man, you know Boogie like I like I told y'all Boogie one of my top five favorite artists maybe of all time definitely definitely, definitely. like currently but then like uh, what's crazy is I was lit at the show because it's like it's were. like Boogie Boogie in town man so uh-huh. I was lit and I went to the restroom and I had to keep going back to the restroom we over both. and over and over. Monica definitely called us out. She was like, "Y'all some PCP." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to keep going to the restroom over and over and over. But then, yo, the second time I went to the restroom, right, uh-huh. I had just went to the men's room. I came back uh, into the concert, went back out. And then I'm just sitting there. I'm walking in. I'm like, this does not look the same. And then I'm just looking. And I said, yo, there's no urinals in here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yo, 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 I'm in the women's restroom. <laughs> Bro, you were just walking. <laughs> Y'all, when he came back and told me, I said, bro. Yeah. You so, were just straight while you said toilet. You, n- That's it. Bro. Toilet. So so I, I, I hurried up and got up out of there. There was no one, like, visible when I walked in there. Uh-huh. I hurried up and got out. I mean, as, no one's going to be visible unless they're washing their hands. The women's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Got up. So, so I'm coming out. <laughs> I'm coming out, and there was, there was two women, in, and one of the women was like, you were just in a women's restaurant? And I was like, yo. I'm lit, man. I, and then there was a guy, and he said the same thing. I was like, hey, man. You know, and then went to the restaurant, came back, and I made it through. But that was that was my little, like, semi-embarrassing story. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I ain't going to go deep into it. I definitely had some embarrassing moments that night, but. Let's not. Let's not, let's not share. Let's, let's not, not share. Let's just say. I had to pee a lot that night. For sure. A lot. Absolutely. A lot. Even before we got to the concert, I had to pee a lot that night. So, we was definitely taking, we was tag teaming going to the restroom by the time we made it to the concert. Like, we we realized when we made it back home that night, we both had an epiphany. We was like, bro, we, we touching on 30. I don't know who we think we are. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 
Our body don't move the same. Can't 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 be out here like that, man. No, it's not the same. What are you doing? <laughs> but overall, Boogie, that concert was fire. Like I had a great time at that concert. Yeah, and it was at the House of Blues. If y'all stay in Dallas, y'all definitely know what we were talking about, and it was it was fire. Yeah, and I and I really like some of the opening acts as well. Yeah, I definitely know, new people. Yeah, I know I know one of them. You said you didn't like as much, but it, it was, was like a, the Atlanta rapper. It was I, like yeah, it was like Bobby Grip. Session. Bobby Sessions who's from Dallas. Bobby Session was da the Dallas rapper. Then it was Grip from Atlanta. Yeah, and there was someone else, but I can't remember. I think we came on at the. I think we came on at the very end of his part, yeah, I don't and then even Bobby remember. Sessions came out, then Grip came out, then Boogie came out. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, but like, but no, it was it was it was a dope night. It was cool. Nobody fighting. No mm -hmm. no drama going on. No drama. It was just cool. You know what I'm saying? A lot of fun. But you definitely have to come back to Dallas. We showed you a lot of love. So yeah. He definitely have to come back. Bigger venue next time. Oh, definitely. Next time, I'm getting there earlier. Yes, I want to be at the front because we, yeah, we were towards the back. I definitely want to get towards the front. I like to be at the front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, like speaking of concerts, man, my my best friend told me about Steve Lacey coming to town. Ooh. But them tickets are one sixty eight. No sir. One sixty eight. Oh no. They gonna no, they gonna no. be two hundred by the time the taxes and the and the, and the fees yeah. are here. I'm cheap on concerts. I've been. I went to the last Rihanna concert that she ever had when she came to Dallas, and them tickets was I spent like probably sixty dollars on them tickets. For real? Yeah, I don't spend Bro, a listen, lot listen, on, listen, on listen, tickets. Listen, listen, listen. I think if, that's the max. I if Steve know. Lacey charging one sixty eight, how is Rihanna charging sixty? So she, she was at the. What's well, probably a bigger venue? Yeah, she was at the. Yeah, okay. I want to say it was the Pavilion. It was a. I think it was an inside. I think it's probably the Jaxa or something like that. But it was inside an arena. Uh -huh. And so we, I mean, it was in a nosebleed, but we still had a good spot. We saw her flying across the thing and everything. She was on the on the harness. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, that concert was it was crazy. It was, yeah. We still had a lot of fun. My voice was gone just like this one. It was it was still a lot of fun, but I don't spend a lot on tickets. I I definitely I am a concert junkie. But I don't spend a lot. Man, look, as the podcast get bigger, we we gonna be we gonna be doing. Hopefully, things. we can get some um uh, sponsored tickets. Yeah, and but, so I still won't be spending a lot. But man, like it would be amazing to get content from artists and, oh, yeah. and be able to speak to them like. That'll be amazing. I was thinking that y'all, y'all know I'm in that mind frame because when we was at the Boogie concert and I text you this too, I was like, dang, we should have had some stuff ready. Like either I already had a business cards or something so we could have networked with the other vendors that was out there because people approached you even with the hats and everything. So it's like we should have been ready and be able to mingle with them and talk amongst them to either like have them subscribe right then and there and then for us to even show their product that they were trying to sell you know yeah but that's future stuff you know we'll know next time to be prepared at all times so for sure yeah okay and then like just just staying on, on the topic of music right mm -hmm. uh episode 25 playlist uh the last few episodes we've been doing at the end oh yeah since we're on music already let's just get it out the way right now okay okay, okay. So episode twenty five. This this time I was thinking like we should go for a TDE playlist. Mm -hmm. You know, being at the West Side Boogie concert, at first I was like maybe a West Coast playlist. But we gave y'all enough of a, boogie, a lot music. of a lot of boogie. Y'all should know. Y'all should have been already fans by now. <laughs> yeah, go yeah, go check it out. Hey, definitely. But this time we we went with the uh, TDE playlist, mm -hmm. and so uh, the way the way I kind of wanted it, we you know we've been we we've changed our like playlist uh format mm -hmm. to three and three but um we had to we had to do seven this time mm -hmm. you know because we wanted to be inclusive of uh their roster mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying now kendrick is off the roster now officially mm -hmm. yeah but but still though like that history so these are songs when you think of tde you definitely think about kendrick right so these are songs that like he put out while he was with tde mm -hmm. so it's still like it still uh pertains to that mm -hmm. so I picked four, correct? Yes. Okay, I picked four. You picked three. Mm -hmm. Which ones do you want to do first? You can do yours. Okay. So, I went with the original big four. So, the original four members of TDE. So, we have Schoolboy Q, Abso, Kendrick Lamar, and J-Rock, mm -hmm. right? So, I'm going to start with J-Rock because he's actually one of the most important in terms of, like, 
the way that TDE has evolved, mm -hmm. right? Because he was the artist. He was like at the forefront at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. He was the artist out of all of them who first got the Lil Wayne feature. You see what I'm saying? He was mm -hmm. the one who was first signed to a major label. Like he like went through the hurdles so that they could see how it's done and then like make adjustments for everybody else. Honestly, I only know that one J-Rock song. No, you know too, King. The one I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Yeah, the one you. Win. But the one that I used to play faithfully was yeah. when. Yeah. Yeah. But you know King's dad with Future and Kendrick Lamar. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I guess I do know multiple. It's just I never actually searched for, for him. Yeah. Listen to just his music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that song with Lil Wayne, I believe, was called All My Life, which was hard. It was hard, and Kendrick Lamar's in that video, mm. like with a, with an oversized uh, T-shirt, I think, and a and a and a hat. He had a tall T. Yeah, in the in the uh, in the fitted in the fitted cap. <laughs> God no. Yeah, man. But uh, but nah. So I went with the uh with the first four, and so we have uh, J Rock, King's Dad, mm -hmm. Absol, Huey New, Schoolboy Q, Tookie Nose Two, and Kendrick Lamar, Cartoons and Serial. So those are my four. Um, Tookie Nose Two is one of the hardest Schoolboy Q songs I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. Huey New. There was a song that I was anticipating. Um, to uh, plan for Absol, but Huey knew it. I think it would just sound better with this playlist, and like the other song is so dated because it came out in 2012. I wanted to go with something that's more current. Mm. Um, The King's Dead, it was pretty much like J Rock's biggest song because it had Kendrick and Future both on it. Oh, okay. And then uh, the Kendrick song, Cartoons and Serial. I've never heard that song, Bruh, So this this song is a song that. He wanted to be the very last song on Good Kid, Mad City. Mm -hmm. And he said his biggest his biggest regret about Good Kid, Mad City was that they couldn't get this song cleared in time in order to go on the album. Mm -hmm. But it would have been the, the, the last track on the album. It would have been a amazing clo like, closure of the album. Oh. Yeah. So Cartoons and Serial, check it out. I know a lot of people may not have heard it, especially people who weren't like, on Kendrick in 2013 mm. by then you know what I'm saying because you really would have had to be really into him see in 2013 I was still on the Frank Ocean train yeah yeah <laughs> Frank Ocean <laughs> you know? when if, I think about 2013 I'm thinking about Frank Ocean if, if we did a, a, a West Coast playlist Frank Ocean should be on that West Coast playlist uh -huh. for sure yeah yeah but <laughs> uh, Steve Lacey too Steve oh, wow. Lacey too. See, yeah. no, I just been recently introduced to Steve Lacey. I wasn't on the Steve Lacey. Yeah, game. yeah, but um, but who did that for you? Oh God! I'm just saying, man. Oh, I'm just saying. My God. There's a theme going on. Okay. Man. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, but for real though. Uh, but for sure, those are my four, and then the the, the three the three that you had. So my three. So I have SZA, Dabs in the Wind. Mm hmm. And then I have Sir. I don't know a lot of if a lot of people know about Sir, but I definitely put you on the Sir. Yeah, yeah. I knew he got signed, and I saw the announcement, but mm -hmm. I never started listening to him. For and, sure. Yeah. So I definitely put you on to him, and I got uh, put your hair down. I always got to do a, a little, a little, um, you know, teaser for each song. Wait. But hair down, that's hair down. Okay, okay, okay. I got Bye, you. Bye, sir. Got you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I was getting to the other song. Go ahead. <laughs> and then my last song that I have is Kendrick, Blow My High. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. one. He was actually shook that I decided to put that song on there. So I like to impress people. Yeah. You know, my music style is not so bad. No, nah, it's not, man. When, when, you, when you pulled out Blow My High, man, I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I see what you're doing. <laughs> I see what you're going for. Clearly, y'all, we do not select these songs together. So we literally show each other what we want to add to the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's still fair, relatively. Roll up, put a ribbon in the sky, <laughs> give it right back. Don't blow my heart. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. You got that, man. All right, man. But that's the playlist, man. We'll, we'll put them in a, in a nice order for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that'll be out uh when this video come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay. 
All right, it seems like there's one thing you want to mention. Oh, one thing from the last video. If y'all watched the last, if y'all haven't watched the last video, get off of this video and go watch the last video, and then come back to this one. So what I want to remind y'all, this is actually October first. In the last video, we told y'all to remember October first is when the student loan forgiveness. If y'all still have student loans, y'all make sure y'all register and apply for the application to forgive your student loans. However. Me being the, you know, us being the people that we are, we actually went on studentaid.gov. The application is not out yet as of today, October 1st. But it still says in October, you know, you should, you need to uh, apply for the application to, for student loan forgiveness. But still, if you listen to this video right now, still go to studentaid.gov and update your information so you can receive notification when this application is available okay but right now as of today october 1st i did not see application yet so hopefully they put this out relatively soon yeah yeah hey, let me let me say man a hey, shout out shout out biden man yeah shout out biden still even though we on september 29th some type of change was put out like some different type of stipulations i think people that originally had some other type of student loan and converted it to something else i don't think i can't i can't remember the details but somehow they're not probably going to get student loan forgiveness. But still, at the end of the day, go to studentaid.gov. You'll know exactly what kind of student loans you have. And you will know if you're eligible for the forgiveness. Hold on. Stop the press, man. Yep. Something happened to where some people... On September 29th. ...aren't going to be able to get their loans forgiven? Yeah, I feel like if they... It was something about if they register for... If they had certain type of student loans and combine it to something... I can't remember the article fully, but it's something that went out on September 29th. Some type of stipulation happened that some people would not be eligible for student loan forgiveness. But I'm not sure the details. Yo, that's crazy, bro. That's what I'm saying. Go to, go to studentaid.gov. Make sure all your stuff is updated. You can see exactly if you have a Pell Grant. You can see everything. Uh -huh. You know who you are, who your student loans are with. Just update your stuff and you need to go see for yourself. Okay, because I, I haven't done it. And man. I told him to do it. Yeah, I, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. But I paid my rent on time. You, you did. I did. You and, did. And I set it up for auto pay. You did. Because <laughs> the reason that I wasn't paying it wasn't because I didn't have it. It was just like I, I would forget. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then I will always remember on the third, right after midnight, happened twice already. Yeah. Yeah. That's horrible. That's, yeah. How that's... long have I been? So February... March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Now this is October rent, so four, uh, nine, nine rents. Yeah. Wow. And then two of them. Okay. So you two, messed up on two. Two out of the nine. Okay, but but I just forgot, man. I haven't forgot any of mine, and mine's is not on auto pay. And the one thing I will not put on auto pay is my rent, because I like to see what you got charging. No. Nah, Go ahead. With him is just different. For me, that's the only thing I don't want on auto pay because I like to look for myself to see. Especially Bruh. like this month, so I renewed my lease and I wanted to see exactly how much I, I see the difference because my lease renewed in like in the middle of the month. So me being in the accounting field, I like to see exactly what I'm about to pay before Man, I look, pay it. It's the same amount you None time. of my bills on auto pay. It's the wow. Yeah, I pay my bills. I go in and pay them. I know what needs to be paid. You're so responsible. <laughs> I'm in that field. That's why I do what I live in. You're so responsible. So why wouldn't I be responsible with my own bills? Like, if I'm paying someone else's bill on time, I need to make sure I pay my stuff on time. Yeah. I was like that in college. Yeah. Like, I used to remember my account number and stuff off the top of my head. I know the last four digits of my account number. No. I don't know the full Bruh, thing. I remember, I like, bet if I tried. You know what? I know the full. I know the full thing. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like with my uh, electric company, mm -hmm. I remember I used to go in and pay it like by phone. Mm -hmm. So like I used, used to say like, "What's your account number?" And I'll just put the whole account number in. Mm. Like I can't do anything like oh, that. Oh, I was thinking. I know my account, my banking account. Number. No, like my account for this particular like oh, deal. Oh no, I don't know that. I used to know it off the top of my head. Wow. Yeah, cause I, cause like I would always pay it by phone. And then, um, but like I can you do old that because I just pull up my log, my username and password. I don't, I do not know the account numbers for my bills. 
So what's wrong with me like You old What's wrong with me calling in What kind of dinosaur life are you living I wasn't talking to somebody It was automated still (laughs) You saying dinosaur but I remember my account As long as I put in my username and password I don't don't even look at my account number But I I remember my account number Look at you. It meant I was sharp. I was sharp at the time. True, true. Yeah, not so much now. <laughs> not so much now. Hey, yeah. look. You know what's crazy? When I was younger, I used to have something close to a photographic memory. Mm. I'm, I, and I kid you not. <clears throat> I had a, I had a, uh, st- a statistics, uh, statistics class mm-hmm. in college, right? You had my sister. I, I did help her with her st- uh, mm-hmm. stats uh, stuff. But I had stats too. And and I'm in this class, and we have a final. First of all, the the on on the um, syllabus, the final was ten percent, right? Mm-hmm. All the tests were like online, all that type of stuff. Then on like the last before the last week, she came in and said, "This the the final is no longer going to be online. It's going to be in person, mm-hmm. and it's no longer worth ten percent. It's worth thirty percent." So basically. If you fail the final, you, you, can, the fail, class. you can fail the That's class. That's 30%. So, that so means the highest you can get is like a 70 if you bomb this they find it. No, I mean, I mean, if you had like a, a 90. No, if you had a 100 in that class. No, no. If you had a 100, you could still get a zero and get a 70. Yeah. So, but like, but like, if you had like a 75 and you made like a 50, you could potentially fail. Yeah. So, here's the thing. So, they, they did that. Everybody's going crazy. So, me too. So, but then I'm up here like, okay, I stayed up the whole night prior to, and I studied and I read this book. Like, these are the these are the the, the vocabulary. This is that. I'm I'm just up here studying, it, just studying it, like memorizing it. Mm-hmm. And I had a good memory right at the time. And then, like, basically, I go into the class, and and I get an A on the exam, mm-hmm. right? But b- before I knew I had an A, I turned it in. I waited until everybody was done, walking out, walking out, and I waited for her. And I wanted to know right then because at this point, I was trying to get like a 3.9 for my final like uh, GPA mm-hmm. before I graduated. And this class was going to be one of the classes that I would need to get in order to, to do that, right? So I asked her like, how did I do? And she was like, and this is the, the dead honest truth, she was like, um, I looked it over. It seemed like you did well. There seemed to be a lot of book definitions um um for your def- for your vocabulary definitions. And I was just like Okay. Yeah, that's because I I studied the textbook last night. And I think what she was saying, you wrote the book definition to the T mm-hmm. for each for each one. And if that's what I'm studying, I'm not going to paraphrase. That's the definition that I'm looking over, over right. and over again. So that's what I'm going to write because that's the right answer. Right. But that's what she was. She was trying to insinuate it. But I was just like, yeah, I, stu- I stayed up all night studying it. But then, and I just kept going for it. But I still got the A in the class and the A on the exam. But like she was trying to insinuate that I that I cheated, cheated. because because every single definition was verbatim what was in the book. But I could do that because of the way that my memory was. It was kind of like. That's crazy. If I would sit there and look at the book for long enough, mm-hmm. it's kind of like I can make like a mental image of the uh, definition. So so not like just me like knowing it in order to say what it is, mm-hmm. but I could have a, like a mental image of the actual definition. So what, when I, what subject was this? Uh, stats. That's crazy because I'm about to say in math, period, you have to memorize a formula verbatim but to not, be but able not. to pass something. So it's like you got to know the exact formula to use to answer that exact problem. So in stats, it's like you would think I need to make sure my I memorize exactly what I need to memorize to pass this test. Yeah, but not just a formula, though. It was It was like maybe two to three lines of of you know mm-hmm. definition for each each one though but anyways like i i want to digress mm-hmm. that was i was that's not the main point of the podcast mm-hmm. but i just want to throw it out there but uh to get into the main points do you want to just jump into this yeah we can i'm gonna go with the craziest one let's go look they all kind of so, <laughs> they all kind of crazy this time. Yeah, we're doing a little twist this week. And let's and let's not stay on like any particular one for too too long. Okay. Because we're already at thirty minutes. Okay. Okay. 
So, 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 so. Mm. One that I think is just really crazy. Who do you think has it harder in the world, men or women? I want you to give your answer first, and I and I'll do, go second, and then we can we can talk about why. Okay, I feel like let me just go on and put this out here. I think we're both going to defend our own gender roles. Absolutely. Okay. So for me, clearly, I'm gonna say women. Okay, and I say men. Now, now, why do you think women have it harder in the world than men do? Because I feel like. Y'all already put it on, like, it doesn't matter where, if it's in a relationship, business, life in general. Y'all expect for women to be caregivers, nurturers. Y'all expect women to be submissive. Y'all expect women to be just this beautiful butterfly that's ready to open you into her life and open arms. It's like, Mm -hmm. boom. And it's like, some women are not like that. So I feel like that part is hard. And then in corporate world and business and in the industry period, work life force is like y'all expect us to just go with the flow, do what we're told. Don't be too hard. Don't have a rebuttal for anything. Just do what you're told. And so it's like, gosh. And then in relationship form, you want me to be submissive. You want me to. Um, also give up my last name you want me to bear the children and still go to work because we live in a world that both people have to work to bring into income and we it's like you don't realize that women have to give up a lot and still be beautiful at the same time so it's like geez give us a break have you been thinking about this topic no Okay, so you just said all that off top. Off top. So that's how you feel about how everything Sometimes, is. yes. Wow. Sometimes people, it's like at the end of the day, people do not, I'm not people, men do not realize how much a woman give up or have to be able to accept, not give up, just accept in life. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't think about it. And, and it seems like if we do bring it up, it seems like we're complaining. So it's like. It's a lose lose for women most of the time. Mm-hmm. You think so? Yeah. Let me let me tell okay, so 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 I'm a, I'm gonna go let's let's dial it back some. Okay. Let's go back. I can't even be in too strong. Oh no 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 okay. not that. Okay. I mean like, okay, you're you're about to be twenty nine, right? Mm-hmm. You live some life. And I know that you you've experienced what I'm about to say. Okay. So if we dally back, we can we can go back on, back on, back on, back to 18, mm-hmm. right? So, if you and I both went to a club, uh-huh. right, at 18, uh-huh. okay? I'm getting in for free. You getting in for free. <laughs> and I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold I on. do. Hold okay. on, and I'm not. Okay. So, I'm having to pay. Mm. So, for the exact same experience, I'm having to put money on it, and you aren't. Mm-hmm. But let's keep going. Okay. Then we get inside the club, right? Okay. Okay. What's going to happen? You going to buy me a drink? Me? <laughs> Hold on. Me? Me? Yes, sir. No, no, no. A drink is going to be bought. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm buying it, but like, I'll say so, so, it. so here's the thing. A woman can go out, mm-hmm. get into establishments for free. Mm-hmm. Then when she's there, can get things paid for for free. Mm-hmm. Not even, and, and, and I mean, not even from, from like giving somebody play leading anybody on i mean simply from just being a woman Mm -hmm. having just something done for you out of nowhere i've never been anywhere and have had anybody do something like that (coughs) why you boy what's that about (laughs) why are you doing that being with me I feel like I cater you, but let no, me, no, no. Let we're, me in a, we're, we're in a relationship. Let me Listen. take this out. Let me take myself out. We're in a relationship. Exactly. I'm talking about like I'm just out. It's me and it's me and the guys and mm-hmm. stuff. And then a woman's like, I'm gonna just pay for your table. No, that's never <laughs> happened before. <laughs> that doesn't happen. It happens mm-hmm. on the opposite side. Mm-hmm. Like I've been out when I was younger. Even women, even women who I, who I wasn't seeing or dating or anything like that. If we were just out. And it wasn't just something that was just like OD expensive or something. Mm-hmm. I would just pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Without even without even really thinking about it. And so then it's like, okay, 
in certain like contexts, women can get things paid for for them to have these experiences. Now, a man has to pay to have those same experiences. You see what I'm saying? And then it's just like, okay, going further, right? Now, if you deal with a let let's let's say let's say an 18 years old, right? Mm-hmm. If if both a man, an average looking, average looking, okay. right? An average looking man and an average looking woman get kicked out by their parents. Mm-hmm. Go figure it out. Who is more likely to find shelter, a man or a woman, at 18? Hopefully she confident enough to find shelter. <laughs> you saying confident enough, dog? Look, look, look. Okay, hold on. Who saying. who is more likely, like, right? Because I'll be scared. Who is more Back likely? At eighteen, I did not have that confidence as I do today. Okay, but who is more likely to be able to convince somebody, like, and it's really just kind of based off your gender, yeah. like, more likely to convince somebody to, to take care of me and give me shelter. Not even convinced because women, we do have that. Um, that innocence about us that people are are well, people it's like we're take built care to keen because men like it's like men are so supposed to su- protect and women supposed to be looked out and, and, and support so yeah so protect when support. It, it doesn't even matter about her looks or anything at the end of the day if someone sees a woman out there and she needs help and and, 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 and her and her, and her tire and her tire popped and she out here trying to do the thing. True, it's gonna be it's gonna be so many men if they pass by yeah. who would just who would just stop and be like, "Oh, you need some help." At the end of the day, because for me that's a, a great example because it was one night late at night I was leaving Monica house and I was passing by the quick trip going back to my house and I just had to pull over because I had a my tire blew. Uh-huh. Literally, I just went, I knew how to change the tire, but I was like, I didn't I didn't want to. I'm like, if it's dudes around, I'm going to just ask them to do it. I went inside the quick trip, and one of the workers came out. He said he knew how to do it. Clearly, he did not because mm-hmm. he was about to take my tire off without even putting a little. <laughs> the jack on it. Yes. I was like, whoa, said, whoa, whoa. She said the little. Yeah. The jack. Go ahead. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> and the thing is, another black guy was driving by because he just put air in his side. I remember this night like it was like yesterday and it was like years ago. This guy pulled up about the past. He said, whoa! Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. He, he, pull, he popped his trunk. He had a whole set. This thing, yeah. automatic thing. Just yeah. He pressed the button and he went up. Because he, know, cause he, he know, changed my tires. Because he knows if something happens to my tires, I'm going to have to do it. Yeah. It's, it's not going to be people he was ready. ready to help me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, that's the thing. Even when I was uh like like way back, I was nineteen, and I'm dating and I'm dating somebody. I'm at her house, and I just remember her mother like asking me to change the tire. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And it's just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do it because like to be honest with you, right? If her dad asked me to change the tire, I'd probably be like, nah, I'm all right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because he's a man. Mm-hmm. Why am I changing the tire for you? See, you because at that point you're trying to you do it on, on the uh, on your own. Gender. Yeah, it's like it's it's like it's like you trying. Like, it's, it's why like, you it, can't do it? No, no, because it's like you trying to punk me. But uh-huh. see, that's the thing. When it comes to men, it's expected like, nah, you can you can do that yourself. You can figure that out. Well, I'm gonna teach you. Like, I'm not about to do that for you. But like for her for her mother to ask me, it's like okay. I'm gonna go out there and do it. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? See, in that same situation, if I would have if I would have never been by the gas station no one was in sight to help me then yeah i would have been like i'm gonna have to go on and change my own tire yeah. but i knew being a young female i was like i can go inside this gas station or ask someone simply a guy that's around and they go do it yeah hey that's that's the point i'm trying to make so that's the secondary point mm-hmm. so the first point is like having things paid for for you right the next one was like if you were just pushed out into the world, like figure it out, there are more avenues for you without skills to have things paid for there for is, you. There are more shelters, and 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 to have have yourself like taken care of if that's what you choose to do, mm-hmm. right? The third one was like when you in distress, it's more people who are looking to help you. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As opposed to looking to help me if the exact same thing was going on. And then the the last point that I'll try to make, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, well, no, I have two more points. Oh, gosh. I have two more points. 
the next point that I want to make is that, okay, I remember when uh, I was at uh, I was at TSU, and there was a woman who was in oil and gas. She was a recruiter. Mm-hmm. I mean, like a head recruiter. And what she was saying was that with these corporations, you know, they look at everything like statistics, right? So they were saying like, okay, you know, there are government laws. If you have X amount of employees, X amount have to be minorities, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now, a minority is a very encompassing word. It can mean a whole lot of things. Yeah. A minority can mean a woman. It can mean a black person, uh, an Asian American. It can all mean, race. It can mean Hispanic American. Other than the majority. It can mean all types of things. <laughs> a inter- a minority. <laughs> an international person. Uh-huh. But like, so they, they take these t- uh, stats, right? And they use it to talk about how diverse their company is and all this type of stuff that looks good for and shareholders and, and, and the media and all mm-hmm. that, right? She came up to, to our HBCU, so it's full of black men and black women, and she told us straight up. She said, look, black men, y'all are about to get phased out because here's the thing. From a stats a, a stats point of view, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if I have a, a candidate, if I have two candidates that are equal and one is a black man and one is a black woman, this is what she said to us. If one is a black man and one is a black woman, Right. The black man, he only checks one box when it comes to, like, diversity. Mm-hmm. You're, you're black. You're still a man, right? So in this corporation, men are rampant, mm-hmm. right? So that's not, that's not a check for you. I the only what, what I'm coming from. The only check you get is that you're black. Mm-hmm. Now, if I hire a black woman, though, if y'all are, if y'all are equal, y'all are both equal candidates, and it comes down to who am I going to pick, though, the black woman is a black, and she's also a woman. So she checks two boxes. She gets the job over you. Hmm. That's what she said. And then, like, but then she went a little bit further and said, and then, but beyond that, it comes down to an international black, uh, international woman of color. Hmm. The international woman of color checks three boxes. You see what I'm saying? Minority, woman, uh, international. And it's like, she's saying to us as a head recruiter, a lead recruiter, these are things that are being discussed in these meetings, and this is how they are looking at hiring minority candidates. And so it's like, I mean, when you look at all these different types of things, right, it's just like, la- the last point, before I, before I go there, last point, last point, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> then, for, for a man, there's this, like, stigma against you being emotional and expressing your real feelings about things. Like expressing pain or hurt or crying in front of people, it's like it's like looked down upon. Mm-hmm. So it's like being a man in a society. It's like you have to always be hard, and if you show yourself being vulnerable, for a lot of people, it can be looked at as a negative, right? Mm-hmm. But if a woman looks vulnerable, it's like oh okay, we need to help her, and so. And it's not just like, so So part of the problem is from other men because men don't allow other men to be vulnerable because they haven't learned how to do that. Mm-hmm. But then some women do that same thing. Like I would see tweets and stuff like a woman saying like, um, the guy I was seeing cried in front of me and from that point I never, I never could respect him again. I never saw him in the same light that I saw him prior to that. Mm-hmm. Like, like what? And for the women that's doing that, stop, please. Like that's crazy. Stop. That's crazy, bro. That's 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 crazy. And so, you know, for me, I just really feel like, and and and, and to and to to speak on that last point, right? So not being able to ever really express your emotions fully, not to other men, or in a lot of times to other women, because you feel like you're gonna be judged or viewed a certain type of way because of that expression. You know, and then men's suicide rates is four times higher than women. And then you ask yourself why. And it's like, because you're living in this box where you can't, like, let anything go. Hmm. We're going to let the people decide. <laughs> hey. We definitely going to let the people and, decide. And, and, and I want to say, and I want to say on the flip side... I understand that that women 
have like disadvantages in the world. I understand that going into a male dominated field is difficult for a woman sometimes. You know, mm -hmm. I understand that so, that women have to come with a certain amount of masculineness in order to be able to maneuver that type of world. But <clears throat> let's say like for a black man going into that world, it's it's kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and it can just still be hard. So I'm gonna say but not just with not just with in the workforce. It's also with um like daily life. The same thing y'all had to endure with pro police brutality and not being seen as being so aggressive and this daily life, people just automatically assume that you're gonna cause some type of harm and then turn around and it, it's just so many different aspects, even in own relationships dealing with the opposite sex it's like we are not seen as being equal or being um submissive enough or it's just so many different aspects it's like so it's not just corporate it's not just other people it's also in our own communities our own relationships it's like we all just need to wake up and start appreciating each other at the end of the day as much as we have y'all back y'all need to also have women's back you, the black women woman and so it's like not only if it's just this, it's also this and that and third. Mm -hmm. And then, like, we over here had actually have to carry the child and mess up our bodies. And then all of a sudden, sometimes, oh, your body ain't snapping back fast enough. Or it's it just so many different avenues. It's like, we still have to go through that and still live through life and still make sure everyone is happy that's in our household. How many people do you know have said something like that, though? How many men? We literally watched a podcast today. How they be going on women and talking about with Terrell and everything when she's actually gotten uh, his wife. She gained weight. She she had four kids, and people were talking about how big she is. It was like, eh. have four kids and tell me how big you gonna get? And they want just they want every woman to just snap back like these models and everything that they see on tv and everything like they have personal trainers they have chefs they have all that and you but just look, want me to just but look, snap back like but look, that but but both sexes and i haven't had any kids but, but since both, i've gotten older i've definitely put on some pounds so okay don't start. okay but me too both both sexes are are uh are body shamed though mm -hmm. i mean like for different reasons though so you're saying she's body shamed because she put on weight, right? Mm -hmm. But a weight on top. Oh, look. Okay, so body shame for putting on weight. Women can also be body shamed for not having curves, mm -hmm. right? For like not having, a or or you know, or chest mm -hmm. stuff like that. Women can be body shamed for their hair not being long enough or something like that. Countless of reasons, not right? being the right skin tone. Right. But, but 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 for men, same same thing. Men get body shame for being short. Women don't get body shame for being short. Men, in the same thing with the hair length, men can get body shame for uh for for balding and stuff. You see what I'm saying? Let a woman go bald. Then, okay, but like, but like, she even, always wearing weed. But even for but even for men, mm -hmm. they be like always wearing a hat. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? Same thing. And then so so for being short for 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 balding, and then like. Men get can get made for, made fun of for being too skinny, mm -hmm. being bird chested, and then like for for the same thing, uh, being too overweight. So it's like it happens on both ways. So don't try to use that as a, as a reason to say that women have it harder because they can't don't discredit that. I'm not discrediting it. It just goes on both ways. At the end of and the day, we gotta ask said, the chat. No, look, you even said when I brought up people talking about the baby uh, and his height, I said something about. Well, it's just like women women uh, are all on Twitter talking about being body shamed all the time, but then they just openly doing it to him. And I you, mean, and you said and you, and you said it is what it he is. He started with the insults over here talking about men. He he putting out business that he wasn't. It don't matter. Out. It so doesn't like, matter. If you gonna give it, you gotta get ready to receive it. That's it, how I feel. Bro, it don't matter because he when was you, dashing it out, so he gotta be able to. Because take you're it. talking about people saying stuff to him mm -hmm. but like indirectly it's making people who are the same as him feel feel a certain type of way so like when 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 people get on the internet and they body shame lizzo for being overweight mm -hmm. 
you understand that people who who, who are similar to Lizzo might might feel offended because of it. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's the same thing, like, and it happens on both sides. So I, I'm not a, I'm not gonna sit here and allow like people to act like it's just happening to women because it's not. Mm -hmm. Now, women women may be more vocal about it happening. Because it isn't as many men that I see personally who are, like, complaining about it happening. But I know that some of that stuff still affects them. Mm -hmm. But in the same way, like I was saying before, they aren't as allowed to express their emotions, so they might just keep it in forever. Hmm. Look, I'm going to tell you, but man. In the chats, like, like I, we said, we're not going to stay on each one for a, a forget the chat. Long line. At the end of the day, we want y'all. No, we need people to come in. We, we do. need y'all to decide. We do. Who do y'all think has it harder in the world, men or women, or is it pretty much equal? Men you do. Don't even realize it. Men do. At the end of the day, because it's like we're speaking from the black perspective, so it's like, oh, we just being, you know, seeing it from one side, and it's like. The struggles for black men and black women. So we just comparing the two. Or overall, who do you think has it harder, men or women? Overall, I still believe women have it harder than men. I, I don't even Not understand how. Thing. After what we just did right no, here, because I don't even understand it, how. I feel like it's still relatively to... Okay, your points were not about race. My points were very valid, too. Yeah, so we'll see. Let people decide in the comment section. Please weigh in on this. Man, Please. look, I'm putting this on. Look, I'm putting this on my page, dog. Don't put it on your page. Man, I, I, I just don't. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, it has to be men. I, I'm not seeing how it's not. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel like you see it from a glass lens. You only see your side because you're not a woman. I see your side and I accept your side. You know what's crazy? And I also see my side and accept it. That's why I want other people to also weigh into this conversation because it's like, this is definitely a hard topic to discuss and we can't just choose just one because I am a, a woman and you are a man. Yeah, but I'm asking you to bring your points to the ta to the table. I brought I, my points all yeah, to, in, a, and my in the points beginning. To me seem and you went way, secondly. My point seems Way, no, because like, just harder. because you went longer to to dissect now, and describe each of your points doesn't mean like my points wasn't valid. You saying longer? I think my points are just better points. No, you just spoke longer. Women get. You, I summarize. My women life. get everything like like bro like even even with me and, me and you both staying staying at the crib right mm -hmm. right even me and you both doing that same action is looked is looked at. Worse upon me because I'm a man. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Even even somebody who said something to me about staying, staying at the crib with my parents, out his own mouth said, see, that's with my son. But with my daughters, you know, that's different. They can stay at the crib as long as they as long as they going to school or doing something. And it's you see what I'm it's like it's like an obvious bias toward men because when you look at a man, you like well, you gonna you gonna figure it out like I figured it out. You know what I'm saying? And the same thing with women, like. But for women, it's still some form of expectation they are people are putting upon them that they probably didn't even have on themselves. Okay, but the expectation that people put upon men is that you are going to you are a provider, whether that be for for other people or for yourself. So like when people think about men, but they think like I'm not gonna help you because you need to help yourself as a man. That's why people are more likely to help other women. That's why it's more government programs and more shelters and more like help for women in general. Because it's like when you think about a man, you thinking like, yo, you need to go get it on your own. That's and that's how everybody like views men. Like even with like government assistance, say, saying specifically like you don't qualify for this type of government ex uh, assistance if there's a man in the house. So basically saying if a man is there, that man needs to take care of you. But, like, if the man is gone, we'll take care of you. Like, it's crazy. Like, he can't need help, too? Mm. But, I mean, all your points you just said, it also goes back to a woman supposed to be depending on a man. So, it's like, we can't do anything. It's like, yeah, you can stay here. And, then, oh, if you ever decide to actually get married, that man can take over. And you don't have to do anything. Just let him and you go cater to him. Mm -hmm. So so it's like that's the the 
the automatic notion that's put on her is like if you can't fend for yourself well this man is going to take care of you and you got to do exactly what he says because now you under his roof so it's like <laughs> it's expected if, if you can't do it for yourself then someone else going to have to take care of you and you going to have to submit to him okay and it's like uh, well, why the submission and stuff look i just want to digress We'll 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 let whoever whoever's viewing it decide like That's what's going on. <laughs> but 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 okay to keep it kind of in the same realm, right? Because mm-hmm. we got to keep going. We're at fifty five minutes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I told you you but, didn't want to didn't want to let because, it go. Because but like but here's the thing, right? So to keep it kind of similar, mm-hmm. man, men and women. So something that we were talking about, we were talking about. If you were to find out, and this is this is a uh, word to your sister. Mm-hmm. If you were to find out, Tug boat, huh? Oh, that's a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if, if okay, so uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is considered cheating? So it's like if you're you're in a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. One, one thing that I forgot, I forgot to put my shades on. All right, back from our commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I have the. Uh, I have the shades on. Yes, yes, okay. he's back and ready. But, but the thing we were just talking about, um, what is considered cheating? Mm-hmm. Okay, I have I have things. What I what I want to see is like, what do you consider cheating? Ooh. Since since your sister brought it up, I know. I want I want you to I want you to hit it first. See, for me, cheating is not only. The sexual side, but it's like entertaining people through conversation. Okay. That's to me is considered cheating. Okay. What does entertaining mean to you? Knowing that it's an ex okay, and you so, hitting them up. So knowing knowing it's an ex, what mm-hmm. else? And you hitting them up and talking to them on a consistent basis. What is an ex to you? Because Someone you dated. We have to get specific. Someone that you have made it known that y'all was together. You're you're saying dated. Mm-hmm. You made it knowing you're together. Yeah. Okay. So somebody so somebody that you might have had a fling with but you was never together, that doesn't count as ex? Fling as in sexual or fling as in we either, communicated? E- either one. Like we up, we up no, on the phone, you FaceTiming. You haven't said what you consider cheating, so now you No 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 no. You said an ex. To <clears throat> me it's an ex. Hold on, but and, I, and I'm saying so an ex is you said someone that you dated, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, someone you've made it known that you you're with them. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying like an ex isn't someone that you might have been sexual with or something, or somebody that you might have been like having these late night conversations with and mm-hmm. and, and FaceTime and doing all this stuff with. That's mm-hmm. not considered an ex. I mean, I consider an ex if y'all together. <laughs> okay, but so so. Mm-hmm. With with doing certain things with those types of people that you still don't consider ex, with doing certain things with those type of people still constitute as you cheating. For me, if y'all was together and you communicated, I'm about to blow this whole argument up. Well, but then go because right. you asked me what is considered cheating for me. Okay, now you so, need to say so, what on, you on. consider so, cheating. So so let me. No, I, I still want to ask from your perspective. Uh, so, so you seem like you're on, putting your on, answers in. I am. So, like, okay, if if let's say there was somebody that I that that I met and we ended up being sexual with each other, and then it just didn't go any anywhere beyond that. Mm-hmm. If if I'm still if I'm still like communicating with her, and I'm with somebody, that's still not okay. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't just but it that's isn't just because like you were sexual. What if you was never sexual with someone? Okay. That's why I'm saying. Okay, but look, but you look, can. Okay, we look. can say if you've been sexual with someone, but y'all never made it official, then yeah. But if you never was sexual, that's with what someone, I, that's what I was saying. Okay. But look, the second part though, if you if you were like really like crushing on somebody and they was crushing on you and y'all both knew that, mm-hmm. is it okay to to then like still be like, okay, it didn't go past that, but I I liked them. But I'm I'm still just gonna like I'm still just gonna like let that just just linger around while I'm still in this relationship, and I can just be like, oh, we never did nothing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Is th- what is that? 
they, I mean, I could just put myself in it. Cause, I, cause I've had, cause look, I've had, I've had women that I've liked to some extent and that have liked me back, mm-hmm. but we haven't ever done anything. But so like, if I still continue while I'm with somebody, to still just like talk to this person, but and, have y'all and, and, and keep them in the fold. that at the end of the day, we are not even compatible on that. So initially, y'all probably liked each other, but did if y'all ever established like honestly, me and you would never work on that level. So we actually are now just friends. You're saying on that level, but like, what if what if like if y'all had that discussion and then you tell your partner like at the end of the day. Honestly, yeah, in the beginning, we probably liked each other, but now we're at that point, like, at the end of the day, we still respect each other, and we can still communi- communicate with each other as just friends, then, yeah, I can see that, because that can happen, but if but you're like, saying but if, but if that it's... they still have a chance look, to be with you, if something were to go wrong with me and you, if we were to end, and you still have this side person right here that you've been talking to this entire time, and you told me y'all were just friends, and then all of a sudden now that we're not together, y'all end up getting together, then no, that was an issue. Okay, but like, if if if, if y'all was crushing or flirting each other in the beginning, how, how can it then digress to like, oh, it's not that? I'm just, I just don't understand. So you're telling me that you never initially, it was like, okay, that person was cute. But once y'all get to know each other, y'all probably try to date. But it's just like, you know what? This is not going to work. You never had that type of situation. It's like, at the end of the day, I like you better as a friend than as a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Absolutely not. Any any woman that, I, any woman that I've looked at in that light, it stays that way. Not for me. I've never, I've never, I've never looked at a woman in a light. So, like, I mean, you're like, telling me like, you've been in relationships hold on, hold on, hold on. that you have to I've end? Never, no, no. I've, ne- I've never... Looked at a woman in a light like, oh, I'm sexually attracted to you and I'm pursuing you in that type of manner. Like we like we aren't in the same class and we became friends and now we just like talking to each other all the time. It's not like that. I'm saying like if if we're on a date nap or if we out somewhere and I and I and I and I'm getting at you, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So from that point, I've never like fully i've never fully right Mm -hmm. like i I, like it's kind of turned into like friendships i've had before right but it's never a hundred percent that at that point Mm -hmm. because the 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 sexual attraction has already been like it's been like put out there Mm -hmm. so like in the right circumstances that can still happen you know what i'm saying so it's like (laughs) I don't I don't know what I don't know what to say. I've never had I've never had an experience where it's someone that I got it and yeah, we didn't do anything and we didn't get in a relationship, but now we just a hundred percent platonic friends. That's never happened. Like I've had women that I've been friends with for a for a long time in between that and then at some point it still turned into what it was before. Hmm. Well, I have people. It's like, no, wait, wait. Before you, I go on myself, you're telling me so the people that you have dated, mm-hmm. and it didn't work out. You never thought about, dang, we should just stay friends. No, that's happened. Okay, I'm not, and I'm not, that's I'm what not, I'm saying. I'm not I'm saying, saying that, happened. that before it becomes sexual, we both realize. Honestly, you you can't you can't give me what I need as a boyfriend. So it's like, you know what, before we even go to that next level, we just gonna cut it right now. But you keep saying and, boyfriend, at the end of the day, but you, me and you can stay friends. But you keep Let's saying be friends. You keep saying boyfriend as if like there isn't like there I, isn't stages yes, in between like, like friends and boyfriend. There's stages in between that. So I'm saying like you're putting it at this. You know like, it's somebody cute and ugly. I know you know that. That's what I'm saying. So it's so, like I you telling me that I can't say I thought he was attractive at first. What I thought he was attractive. And now they not. I'm not saying that he's not. I thought he was attractive, but at the end of the day, it's more than for me to be in a relationship with someone. You keep I saying be, relationship. It don't got to be a relationship. That's what I'm saying to you. But that's what I'm saying. As in me forming something with you, if I decide I want to move to the next step with you, 
what kind of relationship we're going to have. Is it going to be a friendship or is it going to be a boyfriend and girlfriend? I'm with you because I want to be with you type thing. So if we are in a friendship stage and then we're like, you know what? I do like you. But all of a sudden we realize you can't give me what I need. So you know what? No, let's say friends. Let's not mess this up. Let's say friends. And at the end of the day, let's keep it like this. Yeah. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it But 100. at the end of the day, I'm I cannot it. see myself with you I'm keep you can't give me what I need because you it. are an F boy. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Mm-hmm. There is a very small percentage of, of dudes, bro. Mm-hmm. That if, if, if y'all first established, like, if y'all first established yourself on a, like, we trying to talk, I'm attracted to you level. There's a very small amount of men who who ain't at the chance they get gonna try to jump on that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I've stayed. Listen, this this sound crazy. <laughs> Should I say it? What? I mean, like I've stayed. I've stayed like friends with someone, and and we could actually really be friends, but like. From the point that like it all it, it all established itself from from there being like chemistry, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's still there. I'm like, as a guy, I don't really see how if if it wasn't because I've I've had homegirls that I've just simply been like we just really cool like that. Mm-hmm. But like when it when it's established as something else, it 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 doesn't really revert to me. I don't think I've ever been in a situation where it's reverted back to like not being that. I mean, I look at it as in people that have kids with each other, was married with each other, got divorced. At the Man, end of the day, we still different. no. At the end of the day, we still got to be cool with each other because we have kids with each other. We got to raise these kids. We're not gonna be crazy and be like, "Don't even come in my house." No, we still cool. That's different. And I can bring my wife, and you can bring your husband, and it's but nothing that's... is gonna happen because at the end of the day, we establish. We are not good Man, with look, each other. That's completely different. But, but look, I'm saying that we can, if I have a fr- a person that I was cool with, and we try to, we could try to possibly date, but we like we realize this is not going to work. So we go back to the friend, and we realize that we could still be friends. Then yes, before we even get to that messy part. What if we would have went all the way trying to get married and everything? We had to go all the way back to just being friends. So no, we skipped that phrase. We didn't even touch that. But we realized right here, when we was dating, we was like, you know what? No. No, 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 no. I don't know if that's a real thing. It's a, I know for a fact it's, it's a real thing because it, experience, I'm talking about I, it men, happened bro. in my life. I'm talking about for men. I don't even I know have experienced saying. that for myself. It's um, like um, I can be friends with someone and we was like, okay, maybe. But then all know. of a sudden we was like, no, we're better as just friends um, at um, the end of the day. Don't even try. I don't even know about nothing like that, bro. Well, I'm, I'm keeping on hunting with you. So just because you have an experience and you acting like it's it can't exist. Um, I don't know many. I don't know like any any guys that like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know to know it to exist. I don't know. Not just with me, but like situations I've I've witnessed, people I've been around. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People I've grown up with. I don't know that to be a thing. Like. We were we were we were together and now we're just gonna be friends and then like all that was like from before it's just completely non existent. I don't I don't know that to be a thing. From a guy's perspective, I don't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But but just digressing, right? Because it's 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 kinda like going like In circles. Yeah. What 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 would you say was considered cheating? Because now we got to like, we talked we about, talked about that. no, no, no. We talked about who could be, right? I'm saying what is considered cheating to you? You said entertaining somebody. Yeah, I was saying we talked about that. No, no, no. You said entertaining somebody, that, but that's it. Like, like, what is entertaining someone to you? It's everything. If you, t- I said, if you're talking to an ex or if you're talking to someone, hitting them up more than me, it's like, wait, what? Of the opposite sex, it's no new friends. When you're in a relationship, you ain't getting no new girlfriends. Oh, this is a girl that's just a friend. That ain't none of that. So you can't you can't go out and you just meet somebody that's like, oh, this person's cool. 
this is like a new friend I developed in this same time span. So you gonna go out? No, I mean like, what if you like work with this person or something? After you said that, do you think it's acceptable for you? Would you want your your girlfriend to say this is a new guy friend? That you made at work? Mm -hmm. You haven't met any guy friends at work? That are old? I'm I mean, talking about I mean, as same age I mean, levels period. for you to date. I mean, period. I'm talking about dating age. I mean, period. Like Either people at work, they have my teens information. They don't have my cell phone. Yeah, so you never, like, you never... First of all, let me say, everybody everybody in the math department got each other's phone number. Okay. Go beyond the group chat. Do okay. they hit you up at 9 and 10 o'clock at night? No. All right. Okay. They keep it professional. Now. So once you cross that line and you hitting them up at 9 and 10 o'clock at night while we in the bed. Okay. Okay. But, that's cheating. Okay. Okay. So if somebody hitting you up at a certain time, that's cheating. Booty call hours. What if it's not even about anything like that? Booty call hours. If you're an adult, you know the booty call hours, and you know what time you're supposed to be texting your coworker. I don't care. But what if you're friends? You just not I don't care. Like your actual friends. You know, if y'all friends, then you know that person have a a partner. Either they're married or in a relationship. So nine and ten o'clock at night, you're not hitting your friend up at that time. I have guy friends that I still to this day would not hit up at nine and ten o'clock at night, and we best friends. So you know. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't care. So so what, so you, you can send an email. Okay. So. So what is considered cheating? Would you so would you consider like okay so you're saying like if anybody anything with exes right mm -hmm. anything anything at all okay so that right there then we're saying like if you're friends with somebody but they hitting you up at late at night and then you're responding that that would be considered cheating would that be considered cheating or a red flag possibly. Potentially both. Cause what if you really just friends with somebody, and then they text you later at night and you just respond, but you but you aren't even thinking about it. Like you're not even like, could that be cheating or would it just be like, hey, we need to have a conversation. I'm not comfortable with that. All of it is stem to having a conversation. Uh huh. So it's like you could look at it on every retrospect. You need, still probably need to have a conversation, and then. If anything continues to happen after you have the conversation then yeah i guess that's what probably what we need to say after the initial conversation if that person is still doing it then everything is considered cheating at that point okay i feel you i mean i don't, I don't necessarily disagree i just been put i just been putting stuff out there just to see like what it actually really is you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying because at first you had just you were just saying X's, 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 and I'm saying like that's the number one thing. But I know, but it, that's not even a conversation but, that needs to be had. But I'm saying there's like there's like levels or ranges like between X and friend. You see what I'm saying? That like people can fall in, and those people those people like also is not like it's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, well, if, then have you had that conversation with that person? With so who? Like, like if you were to come across that, if Especially with me, if you see something like that, to me, at the end of the day, you still need to have a conversation with your significant other. What's what's going on? Who is this person? I don't feel comfortable with this. And then that, like like we said, have the initial conversation. If it continues, then it's an issue. But if that person doesn't know what's going on, how can they even address it? I'm not look. I'm not talk. I'm not talking about no conversation. I'm just saying that, like, when you were saying, at first you were saying. I'm saying exes. I'm saying you know that, who you dated. Yeah, but you, you know who this, you that's, to. that's what I'm saying. You're saying exes, but I'm saying, like, there are people who are under exes in these, like, in this hierarchy, right? But from friend to the person I'm, I've dated and now they're ex, there are, there are ranges in between. So there's ranges, like, me and that person. you know on. who's the friend there's me, the there's me. There's me and this person that talked. There's me and this person that did some sexual, but we never got in a relationship, so they're not technically an ex. But there's still somebody who, like, if me and them start talking again, it might be something that's against my relationship. And I'm and all I'm saying is like, 
there's ranges. Mm -hmm. So so just saying like an ex is not enough. Like there could be people who you've done things with. You see what I'm saying? Or you were like having like super late night, lovey dovey flirt flirtish like conversations and all this stuff like that. And then like it still may be something against your partner for you to still be talking to this person, communicating with this person. At the end of the day, like I said from the beginning, stuff. if you see this, address it. I mean, if you need receipts, going on show receipts. But it, it is what it is. Have the initial conversation. If it continues, go on. Forget the off. conversation. Is it cut okay? Is it okay off. to you? Is it okay to you? Yes For no? me, if I talk to you, I because I'm gonna say something. I'm going to address it right then and there. Who is this? And why are you texting them at X o'clock? So and why y'all continue to have? This so it's not okay to you? No. That's what I'm asking you. That's what I'm saying. We need to talk. That's yes. a, that's what that, at the end of the day is keep going back to that. You need to talk to that person. Ain't no in your head trying to figure out what's going on. You need to have that initial conversation. What's going on? I don't like this. And if you continue, cut them off. Period. Cut who off? Cut the person you're talking to off? Yes. If they don't respect it, it is what it is. Oh no, no, no. You mean the person you're in a relationship with? Yes. Cut the person off. Yes. I see where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. I see like, it, from. it shouldn't be no gray area. I'm going to ask you a question, and it is what it is. And then, like, so if, if somebody you were with, like, if you saw them doing any, any of these types of things, like, what would your response to that be? I mean, you're saying cut them off. So you're just saying, like, your only response is, like, we're done. Like, that. that's all your response would be. We're done. After you have the conversation. If you don't like the answer, that's it. But you're saying you're saying the conversation about somebody texting you at times. Yes, but I'm saying, but I'm it. saying like if, if you, they said that they they don't see your issue with it, and if you feel like this is not something that you can continue, I don't see why you're confused. Okay, but not just that. I'm saying like if you beyond that, if you were to find out the person you with is cheating, what is your response to 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 that? Like not not them just talking about it. Like you you've actually seen it. What is your response to that? It's just like, we're just not, you don't do anything. That's it. That. All right. Clearly, y'all still want to have this conversation with each other. Y'all still want to keep talking. Well, then talk to her. I'm not talking about talking. I'm talking about you found out somebody's cheating. Bye. Ain't no form of conversation. I'm just ending a relationship. There's no Man, point. I'm going to keep it 100. You way better than me. And to me, it ain't no love loss. It, at the end of the day, don't try nah, to talk to me anymore. Nah, don't even nah, look at me. Nah. It is what it the is. Love, you want to keep going with her? Clearly, she's the better person the love, than me. The love is lost. What are you talking about? At the end this of what the I'm day, saying. I'm you done. Are, you are a better person than like, me. No. Nah. If I see this and you still... Oh, she's still hitting you up at 9 and 10 o'clock at night. No. Nah. Clearly, you haven't... This, you, you haven't met listen, your fit, listen, no, listen, saying listen, that listen. you want to be in a relationship, that you in a relationship. You, so I don't matter. You, so you know what? Go be with her. I don't care if she your coworker or not. At the end of the day, you haven't established boundaries. You keep saying like you keep saying talking at night. I'm talking about full fledged. I know you cheating. I saw it. It's no thing. So look, me. We don't look, even have a conversation. You, at you're that. better if than I see. You are better than me that you are sexually cheating or you. Or meeting up with people, we don't even need to have a conversation. Here, here's the thing: you're cheating. Here, but yes. when it's the obvious stuff, you cheat. Yes, yes. yes. When Here, it's the stuff that I'm like, what's going on? I'm gonna have that conversation, and after we have the conversation, I still see it's going on. Here's That's the it. thing: I I wish I was like, you know, you 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 you're more like, uh, what's the word? Black and white. When it comes down <laughs> nah, to that. I'm not saying black and white. I mean, maybe that could be it, but like maybe more mature than 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 me, because I would be more envious. You know what I'm saying? Like I I'm I'm more on a like, man, that's crazy. This person did me like this. I gotta try to get them back in the time frame that I have. Ain't no get back. I'm too old. I'm I'm not, bro. That's what you I'm saying. My time. That's why I said you more mature than me because like you wasting my time. I I could literally like be like, you know what? I gotta try to I gotta try to like get get back and then I gotta have you know about it and then we can be done. 
That's too much work. It's not. That is way too much work. It's not too much work. I got to think of a plan to get you back. It ain't that's no plan, bro. Bad. Just start shooting at people that they know. That's too much. Man, it's not. If, if I'm going back into the dating world, I'm going to go full throttle back into the dating world. Man. And you are not on my radar anymore. It is what it is. Man, I would just, bro, I'm telling you, man. I would just try to, like, I would just try to get somebody where, where I know, like, it would hurt them. You know? Because they hurt me. And I'm not a perfect person, bro. Even like, today, you'll still try and do that. Absolutely. At almost thirty years old, I'm you're not, still trying to do that. I'm. I'm That's not. That's too much work. I'm not. Bye. I'm not fully Bye. healed, man. I'm not fully the, healed. I got. I will. Get it back. I will try and get over you to the best of my ability. However, I need to do it. And then. But at the end of the day, I'm not about to try and come up with a plan. I might. I might throw all your clothes out the window or something if you have anything of. See, I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't even do nothing like that. See, but me trying to come up with a just a plan to get you back. Yeah, for sure. No, like let's make this. Thing I probably would have changed the locks on my door. I'm not changing nothing. I'm gonna just take the key. I'll be like, look, there's nothing. Look, 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 look. My key. Can I get a new key? There's nothing. There's the nothing. There's nothing like that. Yeah, I'm going to just take the key back, bro. There's no me changing nothing. No, you, I ain't going to let you know what's going on. Nah, nah. You just going to go. You going to come over to the house thinking you about to get in. You're not getting in. See, that's the thing. Uh, Maybe that's the thing with being a man. You're going to be knocking on my door. I don't. I'm probably going to be inside the house on the couch. That's the thing. Watching a movie. I don't I don't have to be like, oh, I'm going to change the locks. Then they're going to come over and realize the key don't work. I'm going to just take the key and you're going to be about the house. Like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, to me, no, you gonna think of a whole plan. That's what I'm saying. Because like me, no, that's that's just, that's, that's just the type of person. That's too I much am. energy into something that didn't even want me. I can't, I can't let people that like. Doesn't want me. I can't let people one up me like that. You know what I'm saying? Nope. I can't do it. You gonna be happy with the person you want to be with because clearly it's not me. I mean, that's that's gonna happen, mm -hmm. but like. I got to get it, bro. <laughs> That's going to be gotta, chapter 11 for you, not I, chapter 1. Mine's gotta, chapter 1. I got oh, to gotta get it, bro. The beginning of the book. I she gotta cut him it. off. I got to get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nope. I got to do it. Once upon a time, I was like that. I, I was like, this one person had bought me perfume. And then I found out he, like, cheated on me and stuff. And so I was like, ooh, I should go put the perfume in his gas tank. And I was like, I oh, well, I, I would never do. I would never destroy property. But I was, like, I was like, you know what? I like this perfume. What am I doing? I wouldn't. And I would just, property. I was just like, you know what? Girl, sit, sit down. Mm. Sit down. Yeah, and I just, that was it. That was the last of it. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like destroy property. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to. I was like, you know what? I can put this perfume in his gas tank. I did. I thought about that. I, I had somebody did. steal something from me, bro, but like. I ended up getting it back. You hear me? That was scary. Yeah, I ended up getting it back though. But I mean, just 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 to like get off of this, so we can wrap up. We can go and wrap up. No, no, we can wrap up. But like, I'm just like I'm not at that level to where I feel like I'm just so mature to where I wouldn't be like, man, I gotta get, I gotta get get that back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just like with the with the gifts and stuff, like I said before, like. Depending on what level it's at, I'll try to get that back. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to try to get that back, and then I'm going to try to, like, recipro reciprocate whatever's been done to me. Mm. I'm I'm not mature enough to just say, you know, I wash my hands clean of it. Like, I'm not. Maybe when I'm 35. But I'm not there yet. I feel like I'm too old now. So, it's like, no. I can't. The person who's always calling me old feels too old now. Mm hmm that's you still older than me. I, <laughs> September, October, November, December. Four months? January. But then, but then you at the very end of January, so five. January. <laughs> five months, bro. Thank you. Five months. And, and, and if I'm so much older than you, man, you got to respect my seniority. No, because clearly you're not. No, no. With this particular he, thing. He's not wise enough. With this particular thing. <laughs> With everything else, I think I'm I'm all right. I have areas I can do better in, but I'm all right in like a certain like areas and things and stuff. 
You wouldn't look. We wouldn't even be together if you didn't think I was alright in some certain areas and stuff. I think that was another question. What? It's not on the board, but remember we said, do you think you can um, date someone that wasn't physically or mentally oh, compatible with you? I think it was one like if if it was one where it's like if y'all didn't have the same interest, mm-hmm. and then the other one was like, could you be with somebody who? Who or or which one was more important? Mm-hmm. Somebody that you're physically attracted to, or could you be with somebody you weren't physically attracted to, or something like that? Yeah. And just just we gonna wrap it up, but just just for that question, answers no. If I'm not physically attracted to you, I I really can't like. And I understand there's this thing about being a great person and having a great spirit and personality, and I respect that. But see, those are things that I want from my friends. I don't want the. I don't want to not be attracted to the person that I'm with. Like you initially thought they were ugly. It's gonna. It's gonna cause problems. Oh, it's gonna cause problems. Like if, if how how am I gonna be with somebody I'm not physically attracted to? That sounds crazy. We could talk about this for the next episode because it's like that goes into another question that we have actually on this board that we can't touch to talk hey. about. Hey, we, but we're gonna save it for the next we episode. We gonna hit him up on the next one, man. Yeah, we're gonna hit him up on the next one. <laughs> This this has been a very interesting podcast. It has. This, this and this is something that I feel like people that are watching need to take home and actually ask these type of questions. So yeah, this definitely needs to be a, a, a red table talk. Man, hey, keep that away from me. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with Jada. I don't want nothing to do with Will. <laughs> keep that away from me. We ain't having no red table. Nothing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This the Black Ikea podcast. You know, oh, the Black I- Ikea gosh. jet. Ain't no red table nowhere, dog. That's that's because what they got oh, going you did, on. They get this from Ikea. I yeah, from Ikea. Then, then they leather and all of that. But, like, <laughs> all, of, all of that Will and Jada stuff, they got nonsense going on. I don't want nothing to do with that. <laughs> I don't want to be associated with it. Don't even, like, put that in the atmosphere. Okay. All right, man. Hey, this 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 been something. It's been different. It's, been we, it's we, definitely different. We're gonna look back and see what it looked like. Yep, we're gonna see. <laughs> All right, man. I probably wanna kill him a couple of times, but kill me? Oh, oh my, my god. Really? Bruh. See, see, Bruh. I I didn't even feel that way the whole time. Bruh. Bro. I didn't even Cause he got that. these shades on. I didn't even feel that way the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Hey, you got anything else though? Nah. All right, Make sure y'all check out the last episode. Uh, I know this week possibly the eating chill is gonna come out. I know we said that on the last video, but this time oh, yeah, probably yeah, yeah. eating chill is definitely coming out soon. Too too hope, much stuff to do. We can't yeah, get to it. it's too much, but. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure, if y'all not watching us on YouTube, we on everywhere else. Anywhere else that played had that how podcast, best believe we're on it. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Twitter. Uh, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, everywhere, bro. We everywhere. everywhere. We everywhere, everywhere for sure. So definitely check us out on every platform. Cause I know I listen to us at work. I'm a big podcaster. So I'm listening to everything. Yeah. Um anything else you like that? Hey man, T D E playlist. Uh 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 we got we got all the hits on there. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all don't know where these playlists are at, it's actually, if you go to YouTube and go to our channel and then switch over to actually the playlist tab, Mm -hmm. that's where all the playlists are at. The playlists are there. Uh, We also have the link in the the description. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, 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 the link Mm -hmm. in the comment section. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So go ahead and check the comments out for this video or go, like she said, go to the playlist tab on the actual video. Mm -hmm. All right? Last thing I got to say, Westside Boogie, Concert was hard. Yeah, go check out the album. We oh, talk- he actually viewed my post. Me too. <laughs> and, 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 I was excited. <laughs> and, and 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 Steve Lacey, we brought him up. Go check out Steve Lacey's album, mm-hmm. Gemini Rights, Bad Habit, number two uh, song in the country currently, close to number one. It could be number one this week. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh God, I feel connected with it because I was there before it was anything. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But and like, don't forget. Keep checking y'all student loan forgiveness to make sure y'all actually receive the student loan forgiveness. Yeah. As of today, October 1st, is not available for the application. I did not see it. In the comment section, let me know if y'all know exactly what's going on. But today is October 1st, Saturday, October 1st, and I did not. But please go to studentaid.gov to make sure all of us get our loans forgiven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, last thing. Go follow us on, on our socials, mm-hmm. uh, Instagram, 
at Derek and Deja. Uh, uh, TikTok at Derek and Deja. Derek Dewan on Instagram. Just Deja. Just underscore Deja on Instagram. Okay. And and go turn us up, man. Mm -hmm. Turn us up so we can keep on putting out this content, man. Yep. Anything else? I believe that's it. It's time for us to eat. Hey, it's, it's like it's episode 10 o'clock. It's episode twenty five. It's the OG episode, man, <laughs> man. We going up, we going up big, and we appreciate y'all for being here. This has been Derek and Deja, and we are out of here. Bye.